how would you judge uh, Alexis uh, Tsipras uh, those nine months uh, from January until, to end, until today where he's in charge of Greek government? I'm, I'm afraid I would give him extremely poor marks, um, particularly the first six months were a disaster. Um, uh, since the referendum, since his um, big kolotumba, um, uh, we have seen a slightly different um, Tsipras. You could say there was Tsipras 1 before the referendum and Tsipras 2 after the referendum. Um, and I think we are seeing a more mature prime minister in the last um, two months, two to three months. Uh, it still remains to be seen what he will do in the next period, but um, certainly more constructive, more knowledgeable, more realistic than the um, first six months as prime minister. Okay. Do you consider that uh, Syriza has been forced uh, to implement uh, a different policy, uh, different, different fro for, from his beliefs? Well, clearly different from what he promised the Greek people um, back in January. This is a completely different policy from the one that he, he, he promised. And I would say certainly different from the beliefs that he had then, um, which were very radical left. Now, um, I still think he's a left winger, but perhaps not as radical as he was before. And uh, I still think that he is being forced to do many things that he doesn't really believe in, but he does does seem to believe in one important thing, which is the success of his country. So I think that's probably the most important thing. Mm -hmm. After the, the signing of the third bailout, uh, the government, the Greek government, uh, and the Prime uh, Minister Alexis Tsipras considered that uh, the, result, uh, the result was a success. Was it uh, a success? It was not a success in the sense that um, if uh, Tsipras had been more realistic and constructive when he came into power in January, he, he could have achieved um, considerably better terms back then, maybe in January or February, let's say February, more realistic, um, with much less agony um, than what ultimately he agreed in July after the bank's were closed, capital controls were imposed, you still have capital controls in place, um, and uh, unnecessary hardship on um, the Greek people. Mm -hmm. um, for what reason do you believe that uh, even Syriza stepped back from his uh, pre-election uh, promises and uh, brought a memorandum uh, with uh, tough, with painful uh, measures, he continues to have a high public trust and confidence? I think that one reason is that um, uh, people find him a gen generally likable person. He has a, a nice face and a good smile. Um, I think another reason is that um, even though he failed in his negotiations with the Eurozone, uh, he did fight hard. Um, but I would say that the third reason, perhaps the most important reason, is that he has been blessed by having a, um, a, a, a very ineffective and, uh, and problematic opposition, because the main opposition party, New Democracy, is itself largely, along with PASOK, responsible for the mess that Greece got itself into in the first place. I mean, uh, the situation that Tsipras inherited in January was not a good one. He just made a bad situation much worse. But ultimately, the Greek people, when they looked um, back in, in September at who they wanted to govern the country, quite a lot of them thought they didn't want to go back to the old new democracy. Yes. Do you think that the uh, uh, Tsipras government make the things worse uh, than uh, the new democracy? But clearly. I mean, what happened in the first six months of the year, there was a, was, 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 was a very sharp deterioration in um, in, in, in the prospects for the country. And the situation you got to in July after the referendum with the banks closed, if um, Tsipras had actually taken the vote, Ohi vote, and had gone to the extreme that Varoufakis and others were encouraging him to do, um, then there would have been 
um, a calamity for the country. So I think that what you saw in those six months was, 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 was very damaging. However, um, this is not to deny that there was a lot of damage done by previous governments too. And um, I don't, don't think that they were creating damage at quite the speed that Tsipras was creating damage, but they had a much longer time to cause the damage in. So if you take the cumulative damage over all of the um, decades that they were in power, um, you would probably say that cumulatively they created more damage than Tsipras did in his so far short period in office. But um, we, we have yet to see what happens now looking forwards. I mean, he has, you know, maybe um, several more years as prime minister. Maybe he will redeem himself um, and get Greece on back on the path to recovery, or maybe he will do some other um, damaging things that will compound the mistakes that, that he has created in the first period. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that uh, a Greek debt uh, relief uh, in the present uh, circumstances is possible? Well, it's clearly it's clearly going to happen, provided that um, Tsipras delivers on his side of the bargain. So the pneumonia has two sides. And on the one side is that Tsipras delivers, and on the other side is that money comes to Greece and that there will be debt relief. But there won't be debt relief unless Tsipras actually um, keeps performing and. Already, of course, the government is behind track. Now, that's partly, mainly because of the election campaign, which delayed things by a month. But um, there is a lot that needs to be done and needs to be done pretty quickly. But provided that is done, I'm pretty sure that the Eurozone will um, agree to its side of the bargain, which is debt relief. And certainly the IMF will be insisting on debt relief. And we will uh, speaking about a debt relief and uh, no haircut. No haircut, no. There will not be a haircut. I think the government itself recognizes there will not be a haircut. What there will be is there will be a um, longer period of, 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 of uh, interest rate and repayment holiday. So a period for during which nothing is paid by the Greeks to repay their debt or, or, or services a longer period ultimately then to repay it. And maybe the very low interest rates, which we now see, um, which, but which are fluctuating, so they could go up, may be some way of fixing those at permanently low rates. That seems to be the most likely shape of the debt relief package. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the, the possibility of a Brexit has passed or there's still danger? There's a, there is a danger, um, but it's not a very high danger. Um, I think you can't say that it's passed until you have seen the government um, performing on this program and until you've seen the economy recovering um, again. And you have to remember the, the, the economy did start to recover a tiny bit towards the um, the middle of last year, um, but I think that you, you, you couldn't really be confident that this is off the agenda until you see the economy going up and unemployment falling. And it's only then I think that you'll be able to say that the people are going to be sort of firmly convinced that they're on the right track. Maris Barpola, Yella, que exeretica y elines, que fisisas. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Και εγώ. Γεια σας.